Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the 7th episode of Senki Zesho Simple Gear XV and last episode we found out what happened to Miku and Elf9, they were captured and they want Elf9 to activate something, like I think it was like a generator or some, something uh, but Miku's also there and by the end of the episode we had this big thingy pop up that probably had Miku inside of it, I, I don't know but it's gotta be a problem regardless so yeah, let's just get into the episode and see what our characters do about the circumstances. So, three, two, one, play. Yeah, there was that thing. World domination, of course. What do villains always plan? Uh, don't bully the Elf Nine. Not okay to do that. You leave her bio pattern alone. Uh. Yeah, here we go. She's clearly under their control. It's a cool looking generator though, like gotta give props for that. Gotta love high density energy bodies. Uh, yeah, how about you not do that? Uh oh, <laughs> oh, some kind of counterattack. Yeah, don't go too deep into her. Yeah, I guess that could have gotten worse, uh, but... At this rate, we're gonna blow up. Oh, that's really bright. Uh... And there's Miku. Probably gets swallowed up in that light. As you know, she had that pure body or whatever they called it. That's pure of the original sin. Yeah, I'm gonna volume back up because it's simple game music. Senki Zesho Simpho Gear XV. Create a history with the light god, whatever it said at the end there. It's just so good. I just love just listening to it. It's such a good opening. Okay, back to the show. Cutting the tangled thread. Yeah, that's a thing. That is a thing. Oh, yeah, watch, watch yourself. Gotta pay attention to the fight. I actually kind of forgot this fight was happening, but yeah, it's, it's a thing. Whoa, that's, that sounded like a good hit. Man, she is pretty fast. Did you stick your finger in her gun? Uh, how lewd. Yeah. Uh, kind of blew your hand off there. Uh, serious jiggle. 
And I guess she's leaving after she screwed up Chris's gun. Monster hand. Yeah, answers, please. Yeah, I bet it does. Yeah, that would probably be that. It still looks so cool, though, but it also looks very dangerous. See? Yeah, that's a lot of power. That's going to be a problem very quickly. I want to watch out for the beams. Yeah, that. Getting close to that thing without getting obliterated, it won't be easy, but... We outnumber it. That's something, right? And here we go. Kirika ready for her transformation. Her deathly transformation. Oh yeah, I love her. <laughs> yeah, hers is very pole dance-esque. But you gotta love. I had no idea she was so good, honestly, on the pole. So, learn something new every day about these characters. It's just so beautiful. It's so beautiful. You know, the animation and all that. Good job, Kirika. Never disappoints. Now watch out for those lasers! Well, we can actually block them. I wasn't sure if there was too much for that or not. Uh. Oh, it's got tentacles. Uh, this we know where this is going. Tsubasa, watch out for that tentacle. Hey, Kirika, yeah, of course Kirika defended her. I as expected of her. Yeah, hold on the tentacles, and we'll go for it. That's a good shot. Yes, we got this. Uh, it's a lot of tentacles. But we can handle it, right? Yeah, but at least we're holding out the tentacles. That's the, the main thing right now. Fatal chain star money. Hey, we kind of. Oh, well, never mind. This is gonna be harder than I thought. Oh, yeah. I don't know how to deal with this. Yeah, I think. I think uh, PBK is the only one that can do that. And speaking of PBK, here we go. Boom. A God killing fist. That's what we needed. We needed your God killing fist, PBK. So thank you. Uh, but you want to watch out for that, though. Okay. Yeah, don't let it suck you dry or whatever it's doing. Yeah, don't lose sight of your goal. Your fist is a fierce fist that can pierce the gods, so. There you go. Yeah, it's... Ugh. Yeah, we need... we need Tajibata. Yeah, she didn't last very long in this fight, but oh well. Guess we'll have to come back later, regroup. Come back from Miku later. Yeah, she lost a hand, but otherwise she's fine. I guess I can take that off now. That's what she said.
they'll be back. They'll be back. They never give up. But you don't don't talk about Elf Nine like that. He's done so much good work in this show. Yeah, good job, Sibasa. You don't no need no need to call Hippie Get Week. Yeah, that was a bit odd. Okay. Oh yeah, it's the the Ringo Apple song, right? Yeah. We know that song well. Yeah, it's definitely I mean it's without question that Mario song. And even hearing this version of it still makes me sad. Yeah, we're seven episodes in. Yeah, we still need to rescue them, by the way. Let's not forget that. You just have to add your days at the end, don't you? At least you're still alive, that Twitch proves. She would convince you to stop, but I don't know. That makes you think even more Miku's in that thing. Uh... <laughs> uh, the fists I love that are the, the gentlest fists. That's an amazing line, just... <laughs> okay. Someone's feeling pretty bold today. I greatly approve. But yeah, we're still separated though, which is still sad. That was a great little flashback. Well... <laughs> The joke there somewhere. Really shouldn't use that if I've been in a hand on such a small girl when she's unconscious. But luckily she's awake now. It's painful to get stabbed by you. But not the new me. That's what I want to hear. Well, no, you. I don't know how much you can really do here. You can't really fight. Uh, somebody came? Oh. Oh, what? I... didn't expect that. Uh, I don't remember your name, but... I remember you. <laughs> Man, losing the same hand twice in one day has got to be rough. So, are the others going to appear as well? Yes, they are. Okay. Here we go. Now it's a party. And of course you, I always liked you. We still got the blue one, it needs to show up though, right? Boom. 
Yeah, I take that. A bit more even now, huh? There's a blue one. He's carrying her. We got all the dolls. What matters is that you're here. <laughs> yeah, you're close enough to master. That's all that matters. Makes sense to me. As you should, shouldn't. Okay. Oh, a little bit close to the screen. Yeah, I got my new my party member, old party members back. We haven't seen Miku in a while, so. <laughs> It's great seeing Chris show that kind of emotion. Okay, there's Miku. <laughs> but I'll do it anyway. Yeah, if, if you can. So I believe we got our dolls back. Yeah, don't remind me. Just hold on as long as you can. Have they arrived? I mean, we outnumber them, so... <laughs> uh, never, it's not a battle I thought I would ever see, just this is great. Uh... Okay. <laughs> you are always great at that. Yeah, let's go. We should probably leave now. There you go. They're more than happy to serve their masters, so... Yeah. Got a backflip away. Oof. <laughs> oh, I have missed these these characters so much. You're not going anywhere. Probably not, but they're doing what they want to do. Hands a little bit twitchy there, but yeah. Uh, not really fair. It's like I said, elevator. Oh, ow! I know it's so rude. Oh, yeah, I saw that coming, but good job anyway. The right angle looks kind of like a makeout session, but... But she can hold you down with them. And yeah, Mika's turn to be left behind. <laughs> uh, uh, that was a shot. She did. Uh, so heartwarming. 
<laughs> you do that. Samiku, how are you holding up? Oh, that's so cool. I want to be able to do that. Just try to be named Princess Carrie. It's great. Yeah, she's being attacked, isn't she? Oh. Uh. And if they're here, that means, yeah. Oh, that. Yeah. I mean, I kind of figured this how it would go, but still. Uh. <laughs> uh. You just... You can go on living and not give up. Uh oh, so she is actually able to do some of this magic or alchemy or whatever. That's kind of what I expected her to do the first time she was attacked, but. No, now we're getting it. Now we're getting this. Going full, Carol. Gotta do. Yeah, now it's, uh, it's a new game. Yeah, she gets a full-on transformation sequence. It's great. Oh, man, is it great. It's a beautiful outfit. I think it even had the, the dolls reflected in there for a second. Which is a really nice touch. They're doing this for their sake. You did good. <laughs> uh, okay. Wow, I actually got some pretty serious chills there. Uh, this is not, not a sign of Elf 9. Not a sign of Elf, Elf 9 I never thought I would see. But wow, this is something. <laughs> Why did it have to end there? Man, this was a great episode. <laughs> like, seriously. Uh, definitely got closed it tearing up a couple times. I'll just drink my water. <sighs> you know, when I watch, when I react to shows, I usually have like the character names over here and like a list. But there's just too many characters in this show to have a complete list, so I didn't include everyone. I included a lot of people, but they were not one of them. Like, the, those four. Uh, I kind of regret that now. I didn't think they would be relevant to the season, though. But boy, was I wrong. Okay. That was the seventh episode of Simpho Gear X V. And this episode was great. We started to fight the, uh, whatever you call it, the god thingy that popped up with tentacles and stuff. We fought it. However, like a lot of villains in this show, it just kind of regenerates whenever part of it's broken off. That seems to be a common thing in the show, at least. So that's a bit of a problem. It kind of got a hold of Hibiki, and Hibiki is probably the only one that can really deal with that thing, because she's like the god killer or whatever, the god killing weapon. So when she was taken out of commission, we were like, okay, I think it's time to leave now, which was... The right call, otherwise things would have gotten much worse. However, that does mean Elf Knight and Miku were like on their own. So, yeah, our Simple Gear users actually didn't do a lot in the episode, aside from that initial battle with the God thingy, which is his official name for now on, God thingy. Which is good though, I, I always love watching Kirika, and Shirabe just battling 
side by side like that. It's great. But I just love watching Kirika's transformation sequence. She hers is like one of the best. It's hard to say which ones are the best because they're all just so good. But just the pole dancing in hers really puts it over the top, you know. So I'd still say Kitty goes probably top three. Although Chris's and Hibiki's are both really good too. I think I would probably call those my top three transformation sequences in the show. But it's it's pretty close between like a lot of them, you know. Not exactly a big gap, but <clears throat> those probably would be my favorite three. Anyway, although Sabasa's is definitely close because you know she's got blue going on for her. But anyway, as a result of the simple gear users not being too involved in the fighting this time. Well, what happened was Elf Nine was uh, pretty much on her own, trying to to keep on going, because they were able to like get inside of her head and make her do stuff, or at least try to. It doesn't seem like they were able to completely do that. She was able to like get her. She was able to get the the dolls. I call them dolls, but I don't remember what they exactly were called in the show. They may have been called automatons or something, but I don't know. I guess it kind of depends on what subgroup you use to begin with. But anyway, I call them dolls. They actually showed up to help Elf Nine. Because Elf Nine's not exactly their master. Like, she's not technically Carol. They're two different people, but also very connected. So, Kit Carol's not around anymore. So, she just kind of became their new master, I guess. And they were willing to help out. And they did their best to help. But I kind of had a feeling about how that would go. And that's pretty much how it went that they would try to fight by her time. But they would get overrun in the end. And they would eventually catch back up to Elf Nine. Like, it more or less went how I expected to like that but it still was kind of painful to watch just seeing them abuse these poor dolls like that when they try and work so hard to, to help their new master like that but they did also give her the courage to you know to keep going herself and in the end was actually able to summon you know the carol armor power whatever you call it alchemy stuff and uh you know also kind of harness some of that personality or maybe just harnessing her spirit in general i don't know exactly how all this works to be honest but the point is, Elf Nine is now in a much better position to fight. That's what matters, and that's what's happening, and it's great to see. But yeah, poor Vanessa keeps losing that hand. But the flashback we got between Miku and Hibiki was great, though. All that whole "I love your fist, your gentle fist," like I loved all of that. That was really sweet, great stuff, right there. There was one bit I want to kind of go back to real quick, if if I can actually find it. I'm not sure if I can even find where it was. Yeah, it was right about here. Yeah, when he says, thanks to Sabasa, we were able to... Uh, what, what exactly did he say? Ibiki took more damage than expected, but thanks to Sabasa's quick decision to withdraw, we were able to avoid the worst. And she says, no, protecting the weak is my duty. She has a big smile on her face as she says this. Anane would have done the same thing. There was definitely an interesting look on Genjiro's face when she said that. So I don't know how much meaning I can derive from that. But it feels like there's something there. I don't know. If there's something there, I'll get into it more later on. But it just felt a little odd to me. Something felt a little bit off with that interaction. But I could be just looking too much into it. But I just kind of wanted to mention that in case it, it was something. But yeah, just seeing Carol trans uh, Elf Nine do that transformation, get all get a weapon and everything, the harp and all that, it was great, it was great. But I really did not expect to ever see these these dolls again. They were in like uh, GX, right? I want to say the doll one was, yeah, because X X Y Z X V Z, uh, whatever the whatever the previous season was, which A X Z A X Z just it confuses me though, because that's not alphabetical. I always want to say X Y Z. The whole AXZ is such a weird naming scheme, but anyway, that one was the one with, you know, Jermaine, St. Jermaine, Prilati, and all that stuff, which have also kind of sort of appeared in the, sh in the season as well. But this, the first time we actually got to see them appear, that was very unexpected, but really cool nonetheless. But yeah, just some great fighting in the episode for sure, as always with this show. I don't think there's anything else of note to really mention. I mean, they talked about the song, the Apple song, which apparently has a lot of significance. Well, we already knew that. We're just slowly unraveling it more and more. But a very important song, clearly. And yeah, Miku is laying there, so I guess she's not inside that thing. 
So I don't know. But we gotta go rescue her. That's the point. We gotta go rescue her. Unless Offline can really handle all this by herself. If she could like defeat them and then go grab Miku and come back home, that'd be great. But I don't know. That's a lot to hope for with just one, just her. So I think it'd be more likely that she holds things off until the Simple Gear users eventually arrive. I feel like that's more likely. But anyway, I can't wait till next week uh, to find out. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snoki for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.